once you found out that you were selected by the Toronto Raptors 20th overall? Got it? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Qual é a reação quando você ficou sabendo a primeira vez que o teu nome foi chamado? Oh. Uh, try, try in English. Yeah. Have, I have a uh, ice in my um, heart. Heart. Stomach. Oh. And I'm very happy. Very, very, very happy. What has what has the last few days been like for you? As you know, you come to Toronto and, and you get used to, you know, what's going to be your new life. O que foi tão o que que tão rápido aconteceu? Como é que vai ser tua vida no Toronto? O que nos últimos dois dias como é que foi tua vida? Ah, como assim? Assim. Alguma coisa aconteceu, foi tão rápido e a coisa aconteceu de uma forma que a gente não estava esperando, né? Eu não entendi. Ok, eu vou te ajudar nesse caso. Bom, nos últimos dias foram muito emocionantes para nós, especialmente para o Bruno. Eu só cheguei aqui ontem e tudo está tão novo, tão emocionante sobre isso, sabe? Ele está apenas emocionado por estar aqui. Try to you know fit the teams uh, as, as quick as he can, and you know his couple of days have been um, uh, not much sleep. I can guarantee you guys, and um, you know we're just looking forward to start. When did you first start playing basketball? Quando você começou a jogar? With uh, 30 years. 13. 13 years. Uma risadinha. <laughs> One of the things about Bruno is a lack of information. For some people, don't know a lot about him. Um, how would he describe himself? As pessoas não te conhecem porque não te viram jogar. Como é que você descreveria que tipo de jogador que você é? I like a defense. I like a score, three points shooter, and I help this team to run. What, what do you want people to know about you off the court? What do you like to do when you're not playing basketball? Quando você não está jogando, o que você gosta de fazer? O que as pessoas gostariam de ver você? I like a video game. Play NBA. Bruno, what what other sports did you play as a kid growing up? Soccer. Oh, he tried to. Little soccer. Were you any good at it? So-so. Uh, <laughs> um, one of the things that stand out is his length, his ability to dribble, shoot. Um, who were some of the players that he admires, looked up to, or attempted to pattern his game after as he grew up? You got this one? No. All right. Who do you look up to your basketball? Kevin Durant. I like Kevin Durant, but uh, he's same same uh, body. And uh, play. Um, fala quase a mesma coisa. Okay. Yeah, he he thinks Kevin Durant has the same body as him, uh, physical, and he tries to make he tries to copy of his uh, uh, Kevin's Durant's game. That's his idol. Did you watch a lot of NBA growing up, Bruno? Assistiu muito NBA quando estava jovem? No, in my house don't. Don't watch it. No, tinha NBA. Okay, they, they didn't have cable at home until he was like 17. Bruno, what was your first impressions when you landed in Toronto? I uh, guess yesterday. Uh, what have you seen? What What were your impressions of the city? As primeiras impressões que a gente teve de Toronto quando ele desceu no avião. Oh, it's a beautiful city. It's wonderful, and uh, I like here. The tower is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how does the practice facility, the arena here, compare to what you're used to in Brazil? Como é que é o ginásio? Como é que são o treinamento comparado com o que a gente tinha no Brasil? In Brazil, it's working. Don't have no. It's much uh, intensive. Here's been, it's, here is more. Uh, Bruno, Bruno was playing for a club in Brazil named Pinheiros. 
And Pinheiros has one of the best structures for growing up talent over there. So the structure from Pinheiros is pretty good. It's, uh, the facility is closer to what we have here. Not as big as a 20,000 arena, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a good environment for development players. So they have everything uh, structure. Uh, uh, the team where he plays for Pinheiros is a multi-sport multi uh, club. So they have swimming, they have soccer, they have uh, all the other sports, and, and Pinheiros supports uh, approximately 30% of uh, Olympic players come from this uh, club in Pinheiros. So they have a good, a good development system for young talents over there. At what age did you start focusing on basketball alone? Você, com quantos anos você começou realmente a, a, a jogar basquete e treinar sério? 30. 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah, when he was 13. He was already long. How tall were you when you were 13? Uh, 175. 175 is like 5'10. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you dunked? Primeiro você enterrou. Quantos anos? Next year, 14. He was 14. Yeah. Uh, one year after he started. What did, um, I'm assuming uh, Barbosa gave him some advice. Just wondering if you could share that with us. Ah, o Leandrinho te deu muito conselho quando ele jogou lá, né? Yeah, yeah. He he say go, uh, work hard and uh, very speed and training uh, very uh, much shooting for three fast shooting fast. Barbosa, after Barbosa um, uh, hurt his knee, he went to Brazil to recover. So, and, and he played for Pinheiros at the same team that he was for about three months before. Was that the first meeting between the two of them? That was the first meeting, yes. And then Barbosa is such a nice guy, you know, and he approached all the young guys and, and he, he just, uh, uh, you know, um, treated him as a father, you know, and, and telling them things and practice and how, how to get there. And, and Bruno, you know, got a lot of tips from him. Has Leandro told Bruno anything about Toronto, maybe what to expect, or how he liked his time here? Who? Leandro, has he told Bruno anything about Toronto and maybe what to expect here, or what he thought of his time here? Uh, uh, he had a good experience at Toronto, but uh, they re really didn't talk about Toronto because Bruno didn't know he was coming here. So, but all, all that uh, Barbosa said about Toronto was a good experience that he had here. And he, was, he felt sorry he, he wasn't still here. So, that was the things I heard him say. Has it sunk in for Bruno, you know, what, how much this has just changed his life in the last couple of days? I mean, from everything, just and financially especially. Como é que essa vida da NBA vai mudar, essa, vai mudar totalmente sua vida, o dinheiro, tudo? Vai mudar? É, vai mudar, né? Uhum. Ah, não sei responder. Uh, it's gonna have a, a lot of impact on his life. You know, you gotta understand that he comes from a difficult family, you know, financially. And even at his age, he supports his family. And it's gonna be a big change for him. You know, well, we were talking about it the other day. You know, his Twitter two days ago had 19 followers. <laughs> Now he's. <laughs> <laughs> How many you got now? 3,000, 2,000, I don't know. So this is like the first first change was it, you know. You become like a, a public person. And then and, and you, you start relating to people uh, uh, in, a, in a way that you, you never thought that would happen. You know, that would be like the, the biggest change right now was this, you know, like with this conference here. Uh, I, I don't think he would ever imagine to, you know, he would be here one day. How, how will he handle this? Uh, do you think, I mean, the, the media, the, the stardom, the people that are going to want to be grabbing at him at 17 different ways at once? Como é que você vai lidar com as pessoas que se aproximam de você, que vai a mídia, com tudo isso? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I never, never this, this with me. And I don't know what I gonna, I, I do. How do you like your country's chances in the World Cup? Well, a seleção brasileira no, na Copa tem chance? Yes, <laughs> it's champion. <laughs> champion of the world. Uh, you hear a lot of young players bring their families to their, to their new club teams just for the support. Does Bruno have any plans to bring family from Brazil to Toronto? 
Tua família tem algum... Vamos trazer a família para cá um dia, né? Para conhecer? Sim. Eu... Eu vim com a minha família para Toronto para... Watch games. Watch games. Yeah. My game. Not not and for not for uh, living here, but they'll, they'll probably come sometime next year to come and watch him play for sure. Yeah. Masai said that he made three trips down to Brazil to, to see Bruno. What what were those meetings like, and, and what do you what what's your relationship like with Masai? Well, Bruno almost none, because. Um, when Masai came, he went to watch a couple of games, and then the scouting the scouting team came and watched a couple of games, and that was pretty much it. You know, uh, the way uh, the way the scouters act, they they, they like to go real uh, discreet. You know, nobody knows they're in the gym. You know, uh, by the time we find out, there's somebody from Toronto and other teams over there. You know, they come down and take a look at him, and then. Uh, uh, we, we, we found out that one of them was Toronto. So. What other teams were there? Um, about five or seven. I'd rather not say right now, but it's, uh, we had them some interesting things in the beginning. Uh, January and February. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have uh, two sisters. Play volleyball. Are you the youngest in your family? Mm -hmm. No. You? I? You? Yeah, I, I am young, my son. My, my sister have uh, 26 and then 22. Where were you, um, when, you heard, when you heard that the Raptors had selected you? Where were you that night? Hmm? Onde a gente estava quando ouviu o Raptors select? In a taxi. In a taxi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were practicing in Houston, uh, in a town near Houston. And we were flying uh, to New York because we, we had a feeling, had a good feeling something was going to happen. And then we flew in, and right after we got at the airport, we got in the taxi. Somebody from Brazil just tweeted us and say, and say, "Oh my God, Bruno at 20." So, and then we got, oh you no, know, the taxi driver is just didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> we were screaming back there, and then, you know, it was crazy. Was it so? I mean, you thought you were going to be 37, right? And then 20 must. Have been we, we didn't really think what was the number was because there were like other teams that showed interested. So we didn't really know what expected, but we had a good feeling we, we will be selected, he will be selected by somebody. Uh, that you, you're correct, some, somewhere between 35 and 50. I don't know, somewhere like that. That's what we're expecting. How did it feel to get to call your family and tell them the news? Two more questions, please. To, to, uh, how did it feel to call your family and get to tell them the news? Ah, como é que foi quando você ligou e deu a notícia para tua família? Ah, I call my my family same day, and uh, uh, nobody call. Nobody call answer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because he was no, late. No, he's asleep. Ah, the other day, he is. Everybody, everybody call me in the uh, reports. And come follow Pijindo. Asking for interviews. Oh, he called his dad the next day and he said, All the reporters are calling me to give interviews. So his dad wasn't like, you know, what, what happened? <laughs> when he was drafted, sir, when he was drafted, the, the famous quote from the ESPN expert is that he's two years away from being two years away. How does he feel about that comment? And is he thinking NBA next year for sure? Quando você foi chamado na televisão, lá que falaram o teu nome, o pessoal da ESPN falou que você ainda era dois anos ainda cedo para dali dois anos. É o que eles estão falando, two years early for two years. O que, que você pensa nisso? Você está bem consciente de que é, realmente é um futuro, né? Não é imediato. Uh, I think uh, um, I think uh, não sei, não sei isso muito. Why português? Português ao translate. Eu penso que ainda não estou pronto mesmo, mas vou fazer o máximo para em um ano mesmo já estar pronto para jogar na NBA. He he is very aware that he's coming to a league where it's pretty tough and he's only 18. So they're probably right about two years from being two years or whatever they said. But he said that with his hard work, he is going to cut that down and contribute before everybody knows that's that's what that's what he's thinking about
to, to get ready to contribute to the team. At what point or at the last question. what age maybe did you start thinking that the NBA was a real possibility for you? Hmm? Em, que, em que momento você acreditou que a NBA era um sonho possível? Um, sempre. Ever, ever. Always. Always.